Raynaud's phenomenon, also referred to as Raynaud's disease, or Raynaud's syndrome, is a condition that impacts blood circulation to parts of the body, the fingers and toes. It is a disorder affecting the blood vessels for supplying blood to your skin. When exposed to temperatures or stress, these blood vessels narrow down temporarily, resulting in blood flow. This can lead to symptoms like numbness, tingling sensations, and changes in color in the areas. If Raynaud's phenomenon primarily affects the feet, it is known as Raynaud's phenomenon in the feet. The symptoms typically involve episodes of reduced blood flow, leading to paleness or whitening of the toes that are affected. Subsequently, there may be a discoloration followed by redness when blood flow returns. During an episode, these areas may also feel cold and numb. What are the causes? The occurrence of Raynaud's phenomenon is often associated with the narrowing of blood vessels triggered by exposure to temperatures or stressors. This constriction restricts blood supply to areas and manifests as white or blue coloration, along with sensations of coldness and numbness. Understanding triggers such as exposure to environments or emotional stress is vital for effectively managing this condition. The symptoms. Symptoms experienced in cases where Raynaud's affects the feet include changes in color, from pale to blue and ultimately red, feelings of coldness or numbness, as tingling sensations. It is crucial to identify these signs on so that you can seek the medical attention and prevent any potential complications. Here are some important points to understand about Raynaud's phenomenon affecting the feet. Triggers. Cold weather and emotional stress commonly trigger episodes of Raynaud's. When exposed to cold, the blood vessels constrict leading to reduced blood flow in the extremities. Episodic nature. Raynaud's phenomenon typically occurs in episodes with the areas returning to normal once the triggering factor is removed or when the person warms up. The duration and severity of these episodes can vary. Secondary Raynaud's. Unlike primary Raynaud's phenomenon, which occurs independently and is generally severe, Secondary Raynaud's is associated with diseases or conditions such as scleroderma, lupus, or rheumatoid arthritis. Secondary Raynaud's may have implications and requires a comprehensive evaluation by a healthcare professional. Management. Managing Raynaud's phenomenon involves avoiding triggers, maintaining warmth in the body, and sometimes using medications to enhance blood flow. Making lifestyle changes, like quitting smoking and effectively managing stress, can also be beneficial. Medical Evaluation If you suspect that you may have Raynaud's phenomenon, it is important to consult with a healthcare professional. They can help determine whether it is primary or secondary. In nature, identify any causes and recommend management strategies. Our team at Feet and Beyond is dedicated to assisting with both concerns and complex conditions related to foot health. Get in touch with us today to schedule an appointment and take the step towards happy feet.